Welcome back to another video, you guys. Uh, we got a different one today. We're not starting off in the morning. We're starting off at almost 8 p.m. We're on our way to go grocery shopping. This is a video that I've been wanting to make for the past week. I mentioned in my first video that I needed to go grocery shopping and I put it off so that I could coordinate it, plan it on a day that I'm filming, which is now. I did work out, I came from the gym, but I did not want to include it in this video because I feel like there's probably a good amount of you who don't really care for the fitness content, which is fine, it's still gonna be coming, but I'll get more into detail on another video, which is actually the last video I posted, which I have to film when I get back home. When we get back home, I'm gonna be filming a life update video, which you may have already seen. It's gonna be coming out before this video. So, you will know why I didn't include the fitness stuff in this video. Also, there's drone footage to open the video. Kinda of random but I'm very excited about that drone. I'm trying to practice my skills with it because Quincy and I have quite a few exciting trips coming up that I want to use the drone for. I don't know how this is gonna go. Uh, I haven't filmed in a grocery store like this in a while, so there's a chance we get told that we cannot film or there's a chance that it's gonna be amazing. That's what life is, unpredictable. So. See you in the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> Very cinematic of you. Thanks. I appreciate your efforts. Also, Thanks. I just got a haircut today. Do a spin. Ooh. I'm gonna try not to wear hats anymore. I'm trying to get Aww. my hair ready for the wedding. Aww. Should we grab a cart from here? No. Why would we get a cart way over here? I'm trying to be discreet, you know? I, I, yeah, I don't care, whatever. Crop top. Oh. I'm just kidding. Me? I'm just kidding. I think it's a style now, though. Not for me. Not yet. All right, so our budget for tonight is $15. We're going to try to shop for the week. <laughs> oh, man. That's one thing. I'm not the best uh, budgeter with shopping, but uh, we're, we're working on it. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> One thing in life, um, it's important to stop and smell the roses. I forgot they play music here. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Oh, that's gonna be a big problem. Huh. Where's management? Uh, we could turn the music. It's really loud, too. Well, that might be the end of this. I'll put music over it. You guys are gonna stop hearing me talk in three, two, one. Now you have no idea what I'm saying. Well, that was extremely anticlimactic. Built it up. I was gonna show you all around State of Brothers and show you everything that we got and the reason why we got it, but mm, music, you know, copyright. Here is our haul. Um, we've got groceries for about one day. <laughs> We're having my cousin and his family, they're coming over to visit us tomorrow. We're having a pool day, so we got a bunch of hot dogs, hamburgers, beer, just a little bit. On the bright side, I looked up, in Costco you can film, you can apply to get like a media license or something like that. It takes three days. I'm gonna try to apply tonight or tomorrow that we can film in Costco. That, that would be pretty fun. Five bottles of wine? Five? No. One, two, three, four. You told me to get two for just tonight. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> that wasn't me. Today is very bittersweet. Tonight, uh, tonight is very bittersweet. Tonight's a really big deal <laughs> in is. our household. <laughs> it's a holiday. We are on our final episode of Game of Thrones. <sighs> Sad. Always put your cart back. <laughs> Welcome to my cooking show. A couple of videos ago, you guys saw me use the sous vide. So now I figured, while well, the grocery store shopping footage was kind of a failure, might as well show you how I use the sous vide, and let's see how it turns out this time. We got two boneless ribeyes from Stater Brothers. I have everything laid out in front of us for what we'll need. The sous vide is going. I've got it set to 130, so it's warming up. Ooh. If you don't eat meat, I'm sorry. I do. Step one, make sure your hands are clean. Mine are. You're gonna take a paper towel, 
and you're gonna pat dry your steak or whatever it is that you're cooking very well. You want it to be as dry as you can possibly make it. So usually I season my steaks with just salt and pepper, but we do have this buttery steakhouse seasoning that we tried last time. It tasted amazing. So I'm gonna go a little bit lighter on the salt. seasoning. Also, pink Himalayan salt is good for you. Salt is good for humans. This black pepper shaker, I cannot stand it. it there's like nothing coming out of it. It's alright if you make a little bit of a mess. I wish you could smell the seasoning. It smells so good. Massage that in. Perfect. Flip it over. <laughs> smells pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> we're gonna wash our hands now because we're gonna seal these in bags. And you don't want to have meat all on everything. So this is our vacuum sealer. Our two bags. Oh yes. Wash our hands. Yet again. Because if this were a restaurant, we would be getting an A rating, not a C rating, or a D rating, or an F. Fun fact, believe it or not, I never got an F in any of my classes. What class? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I don't think I got anything lower than a B plus. I'm gonna run our sealer back and forth. A couple times, make sure this thing is properly sealed because you do not want water seeping in for obvious reasons. So once your steaks are fully bagged up and sealed, we'll take our little vacuum sealer, place it over the air valve. Be right back after this message. And there you have it, folks. Two perfectly sealed and seasoned boneless ribeyes that are ready for the sous vide. We're gonna plop these in for two hours, and then we're gonna sear them on the cast iron to get a nice crust. Mmm! Can't wait to eat. I'm very hungry. <laughs> oh, can't expect to make gains. We're not eating. Place our steaks in. fully submerged. Just like that, you're done. Don't have to worry about anything. Come back in two hours, we'll be ready to eat. Two hours later. The sous vide's ready. Don't show the time. You can't let them know it's midnight. Look at that. It doesn't look very appetizing right now, but you can just wait. Ooh. Oops. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is gonna taste amazing. I can already tell. Okay, so just like we did before, we have to now pat dry again. <laughs> you might be wondering, well, what's the point of a CUV if I have to put it on a cast iron also? Nice thing is, we only need to put it on for 30 seconds each side. So you can see our butter is melted. This is piping hot. Cannot wait till we have a house. <laughs> I 
I cannot wait. Oh my God. I cannot wait until we have our own house. Oh. Mm. I can't wait until we have our own house and we have a giant stove. I mean, a giant hood for the stove because that is not it. Anyway, steak looks great. <coughs> <coughs> steak looks great. There's a lot of carbon monoxide. <laughs> the time has finally come. It's 1220 in the morning. Uh, if you haven't noticed, we do have two rather large glasses of red wine here in front of us. Because we're still watching Game of Thrones. Almost as important, let's see how our steak turned out. I don't know if the camera's uh, <laughs> picking it up, uh, but it, it is done and it is very it medium perfect. rare. Yeah. It looks very pink right now, very red actually, but. In person it looks really good. We'll take a bite. It like melts in your mouth. Mmm. Great end to the night. You can tell I'm wearing the hoodie that I was wearing in the last video. Also just filmed the life update about an hour ago, about two hours ago. So I really hope that you guys did enjoy that video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Wasn't quite, uh, you know, how we planned. I was not planning on filming any of this tonight. I just wanted to show you the grocery store. And, uh, well, you know, life happened. There's my positive message of the day. Life may throw its curveballs, but you have to be resilient. You gotta, you gotta adapt. And uh, even though it is late at night, we're about to enjoy our night still, even though we probably should go to bed. But every now and then, it's okay to switch it up. It's okay to do things that you normally wouldn't do because it's kind of what you got to do when you're young, I think. You got to make old. memories. Yeah, when you're old, you should also do this. <laughs> okay, we're tired. Um, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Make today the best day of your life. Make tomorrow even better. See you in the next one.